Hello. Well, let's look into this problem. It involves consecutive integers. Okay. The problem says the sum of squares of two consecutive integers is 421. What are the possible numbers? Okay. Now, first part is that what are consecutive integers? So, the numbers which come together are consecutive numbers. For example, 100, 101, they are consecutive. 5 and 6, they come one after another. They are consecutive. Therefore, two numbers in general which are going to be consecutive will be x and x plus 1. So, let the numbers be, let the consecutive numbers be x and x plus 1. Correct? So, these are your consecutive numbers. Now, this is sum of squares of two consecutive numbers. So, their squares sum is 421. So, the equation here is x square plus x plus 1 square is equals to 421. Is it okay? That is the problem. So, now we need to, so that is the equation which represents our problem. And we can now solve it. It's not that difficult. Let's open this. Expand it now. So we get x square plus the square is x square plus 2 times ab which is 2x plus 1 equals to 421. Correct? Let's bring all the terms together. We get 2x square plus 2x. When it comes here it becomes minus 421 plus 1 is minus 420 equals to 0. Now we can take 2 common, right? So I'll simply divide by 2 or I can take 2 common. It's a good practice to keep 2 like that. So we'll say x square plus x minus 210, right? 210 bracket close equals to 0. So that is our equation. Now we need to factor 210. Divide this factor this equation and to factor what we should do is we need product of two numbers as 210 minus correct and sum that is p plus q as 1 so we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 210 and sum is 1 okay so bigger number is positive right now how to get such big numbers factors so I'll also teach you a strategy to find out such numbers. We know 210 is a huge number. So let's try to factor it out like prime factorization, you remember? So 210, we could find all possible factors. So possible factors could be, let's say, 10 times 21, correct? 10 times 21. Now for 10, factors could be 2 and 5, is that okay? And for 21, factors could be 3 and 7, is it okay? Now, these are your factors, right, for 210. So, if you see, we can combine some terms. If I do 5 times 3, it is 15, right? And if I combine 2 and 7, then what do I get? 14. Now, always, when you multiply them, you get 210. And 15 and 14 difference is 1. So, it serves a purpose. Do you see that? So that's a very good strategy. To deal with big numbers right so we get our numbers and our numbers are because this is positive positive 15 and negative 14 do you understand so these are our numbers correct so we can write this in factored form as 2 times x because this number is positive we are writing positive 15 times x minus 14 correct equals to 0 and this equation is 0 only if x is equal to minus 15 or x is equals to 14 so the two consecutive numbers which we are looking for are either starting with minus 15 or starting with 14 so the two sets could be here as minus 15 and plus 1 is minus 15 plus 1 minus 14 correct so this is one set of numbers or we have numbers 14 
and 15, right? So these are our two possible answers. Do you understand? Either minus 15 and minus 14 or 14 and 15. So these are the two possible answers for our situation, okay? So we say that the sum of squares of two consecutive numbers, which could be minus 15 or minus 14, because when you square them, they become positive, right? And so when you add them, you get 421 or 14 and 15, correct? I hope you also appreciate the way we factored and found product and sum, and you know, that helped us to factor our uh, quadratic equation, okay? Thank you.